Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the homepage on the Shopify DOM theme. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over your Shopify store and then you're going to sign in for it, the account and you see here the admin dashboard. Once you are here on the dashboard, you are simply going right there to set up your theme. So we are going here to head over the sales channels and we are going to choose online store. After that, you're going to see here a little menu popping up. We have some choices, themes, blog posts, pages, navigation and preferences. So obviously we are going to go first with the theme. So we are going simply right there to discover the library of the theme. And for today's video, we are going to choose the Dawn theme. Now I'm going to click on the button of customize right there and it will open up the Shopify web or store builder. So with this aside, I'm going to see here at the loading screen. So we are going to get here the home page, which is this one. And for the left side, we're going to get the control panel of it or the different component of that home page. So how you can know that this is the home page? Simple. You're going to see here at the top of the header, we have the default template or default market. And to the right side, we have the home page right there. When you click on this drop down menu, it will pop up here at the home icon, followed with the label of home page. So we have assured that we are on the home page right there or the home screen. So we are going to see here on the home page that we have a header, a template and a footer. These are the different elements for the header. We have an announcement bar, which is going to be right there. Welcome to our store. If I want to modify it, I'm going simply to click on it and then we're going to modify it. And also you can go ahead and click on the drop down menu. You can go ahead and change the text of it. For example, here we have welcome to our store and we didn't link the text right there to guide us or redirect us to another page. So you can go ahead and do that and take the customers to another page. Now, aside from the uh, announcement bar, we are going to see here the header. We have the header right there. You can go ahead and change the desktop logo position of it. Also, we can change the arrangement of the media item. So we can go ahead and set up or change the position of the logo and everything will be changed. For example, we have here the middle left. We're going to type in here or let it as a top center. Or we can go ahead and set it to the middle center and the menu item will go right there to the left side. Now we are going to set it as a top center or we can go ahead and set it or top left. I'm going to set it here to middle center and this is it. So if you want to add or change the appearance of the menu or the menu items, you can go ahead and click on it and see what we have. So here, as you can see, we have a drop down menu for the sub menus. If you want to set, set them as mega menus, we can go ahead and click on mega menu and we are going to see here a mega menu. If we want to set them as drawer, you're going to get the hamburger menu and see here the drawer and also the sub menus. So I'll let them here drop down because this is the most simplest way to explain things. You can make the sticky header and also you can show the separator line. That was for the header. Now for the template, you can go ahead and see that we have the first thing, which is the image banner. Let's go ahead and hide it. So if I go and hide the image banner, you're going directly to see the products and also the customization that we have here. So I'm going to put back here the image banner and you can see that we can go ahead and modify it. Now, how we can add these sections or blocks, each section contain a block and how we can add a section. You can go ahead and add a section for either the header, the template or the footer by clicking on the plus plus button right there at the bottom called 
or labeled add section. You're going to see here the sections and the apps. So we can go ahead and see the different sections that could be added to that specific area. For the template, we can have the maxed out number of sections. But for the header, we're going only to get three. And for the footer, we have also three. You can add the sections or uh, more or add on sections by installing some apps that could change the appearances of your website and also the styles. Now, aside from that, we can go ahead and add some custom liquids like I have did right there. So I have embedded a widget that will set up here uh, the Teespring store or connect our uh, Teespring menu or uh, let's say a catalog on our Shopify store. So also you can go ahead and modify the buttons of the uh, right there, the, the cover image, I think, or the image cover banner. Also, you can set some featured collection. So now I'm going to present you some blocks for the uh, block right there of the uh, image banner. You can add a block, which is the text, also the button. So if I delete the button and click on add a block, we can add a button to that specific area. Each one of the sections has its own specificities. So you can go ahead and add whatever section that you want, and then you can modify it. For example, for the featured collection, I have clicked on it. We can go ahead and change the label of it. Also, you can set up the heading site. You can add a small description to uh, highlight the uh, containment or the component of that specific area. And you can see here that we have added different products. So you can set up the maximum products to show. And also, you can limit the number of columns on the desktop. So as you can conclude, we have a lot to work on if we want to modify the menu or the home page right there. That was for the theme right there, also the main page. If you want to modify something, you can go ahead and modify it. Now, let's talk about the footer. So the footer right there, you can go ahead and add some sections. And these sections could be relied or linked to the email marketing or SMS putting in right there uh, subscriptions. So you can see that we have the privacy policy and also the different subscription for the emails and some util or useful links for the customers. That was for the sections. For the theme settings, you can go ahead and modify the logo, the colors, the typography on any page, and that includes the home page. You can modify the layout, add some animation, and also modify the buttons. And that will apply for all of the items that you have modified into the website not only the home page now for the app embeds you can go ahead and install any type of app from your shopify app market and also make it right there for example as you can see here we have some banners going on right there this is a newsletter banner they have set up for people to sign up into my uh, sms or email campaign that i have set for marketing purposes so it will pop up here at the home page only. So now let's exit the store right there. Now we have set the uh, theme. Now let's talk about the navigation. So the navigation, when you click on it, it will show up here the menus. We have the footer menu and the main menu. The main menu was showing up right there that well, this is the part that we could add the menus, sub menus, and etc. So make sure that you are going to set up the pages before connecting them and adding them to the main navigation. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.